D-Lo, ay, yeah, clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, it's even been clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn off a way. Ooh, yeah, see that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! Hey, <laughs> what's going on, you suckers? <laughs> what's mm-hmm. going down? It's your boy, Soul Man. Astronauts. Soul Man Dub and, uh, <laughs> what's your name? I don't know, Astronaut Ross, I don't know. Astro Ross? <laughs> Astro Ross. <laughs> What's yes, going sir, down, man. everybody? Happy Halloween to Happy everyone Halloween, out there, man. Gentlemen. You know we had to. We It's of been course. a tradition we've done on the What's channel for right? the past few years. We always dress up on Halloween, drop some Halloween reaction videos for you guys. So definitely we're about to get into this. This should be a good one. Soul man, brother man over here. <laughs> you dig? Are you digging it? <laughs> so we're going to check out 10 I mean, top 10 terrifying places in Texas you should never visit. This is an interesting one that was sent to us. We're from Texas, bro. This was sent to us. This uh, is the craziest thing. On Twitter. Yeah. Oh, what not? Why is it forward like that? I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm trying to get over with it. Uh, But yeah, man, there are some places in Texas I've definitely heard that, you know. Probably wouldn't want to go. Especially not my skin color. (laughs) They don't care if I'm an astronaut or not. In some places in Texas, nah. Greg, uh, Greg Parisi, mm-hmm. uh, Soul Enigma 3G. Ooh, he got <laughs> soul too. Uh, he's the one that sent it to us on Twitter. He said, "Hey, in the clutch in honor of Halloween. I found this video on YouTube. I love for y'all to react to, seeing as y'all from Texas. So, all right, we're gonna check this you, out, bro, man. For sending it our way, man. We are gonna check it out. So, for sure, for sure. Uh, let's get into this, man. All right, man. Let's do it. Soul brothers and sisters out there, you know what I'm saying? You dig? Let's go. <laughs> From battlefields to dive bars, Texas is home to some of the most haunted places in America. What? But for those of you who are going to plan a trip there, I've made a list of the top 10 scariest places in Texas that you should never visit. Now, if you're from Texas, let me know in the comments if there's anywhere that I missed. Number 10, Driscoll Hotel, Austin. While there are many reportedly haunted hotels in Texas, this one seems to top many lists for the most ghostly activity. Most of this seems to stem from the very chilling stories of room 525. And it's crazy because people actually go try to find these places. Oh, yeah, to spend the night, you know what I'm saying? Just to see if they're going to have any encounters. That's how they still make money. Yeah. And I'm not one of those people. Yeah. So don't uh, even. You, you can post the footage on YouTube. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let me know. Don't ever look for me to go. How, how it turned out. Exactly. 1880s, there was a young couple that was having their wedding at the hotel. Or at least that was the plan. The groom Damn. got cold feet and left the bride at the altar. Now heartbroken, she Ooh. ran upstairs to their suite, room 525, and took her own life. And it oh, said damn. she still walks oh, the damn. halls in her long white gown. But that isn't the end of the story. Because in 1991, another bride was spurned at the altar. And after oh. going on a shopping spree with the groom's stolen credit card, oh. she too returned to room 525 and took her own life. Since what then, the guests on? have seen her carrying a pistol and walking into the room, all without ever opening the door. So don't stay in room 525 or you may never check out. There's also an eerie painting that's said to be inhabited by the spirit of a young girl, the daughter of a senator, whose expression seems to change on its own. People who view the painting have said that they feel like they were floating off of the ground, though they remained on the floor. They also say that their equilibrium and balance was off for a few hours after looking at her. Number nine, USS Lexington, Corpus Christi. Now, before I tell you about this spooky ship, make sure to hit the subscribe Mm. button so you can catch all of our amazing videos. As a naval vessel that saw actual battle, there have been multiple lives that were lost on board, including that of an engine room operator who still roams the ship at night waiting for the battle to end. The crew of the ship have often reported (laughs) flickering lights and doors slamming on their own which given that this is a very well-maintained historical site, you'd think that they would have found the cause by now. Yeah. Maybe it's just the- Bro, that's- Ghosts of- That looked a little creepy. Um, But yeah, nah, that's crazy. You ever been on t- uh, on the San Jacinto Mm-mm. battleship over there um, in Houston? Maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't we went on a field trip as a kid, no. Maybe. It looked just like how that one is, and it's mm-hmm. like you see things from all the way uh, in the past and history, and you don't, I didn't think about it then, but as an adult, I'd be like, man, I bet this was probably a little bit haunted. <laughs> yeah, I mean. If we would have went today, but mm-hmm. I think they moved it. But anywho, yeah. that That's, mm-hmm. I can't do the battleships and the people still trying to go to war. <laughs> and the war been over for ages. That's that's another level of scary. I'm like, <laughs> 
of sailors <laughs> lost to time. Coming in at number eight, we have the Marfa lights in, you guessed it, the town of Marfa. While there is so much beauty Never in the area it. and Same plenty here. of non-spooky reasons to visit, the main tourist attraction to this quaint little town are floating, sourceless lights that seem to floating, change color and lights. even move in the night sky. Many visitors make the journey at all times of year to see the lights, and there's even a yearly festival made in their honor. Reported yeah. since 1883 wow. by people of all ages and professions, no one knows what these floating orbs are. They appear at random, but usually in the same area of the sky, and UFOs. since there's so <laughs> much open space Contact. and low light pollution, it's perfect for for stargazing or hell? seeing spooky orbs i guess <laughs> some say that these lights are ufos some say spirits and others think that they're just headlights all that i Not know headlights. is that if i see a mysterious floating orb i'm going the other way yeah. number seven Woman My Hollering God. Creek, San Antonio. Said Whoa. to be the home of La Llorona, or oh, the Weeping shit. Woman, yeah. this creepy creek leaves anyone who visits with a sense of dread. As the story goes, La Llorona was a woman who was distraught that her once doting, affectionate husband left her for another woman. And after confronting him and leaving the confrontation with cuts and bruises, she waded into the water, dressed in her best clothes, and drowned herself in the creek right after doing the same to the rest of her family. Her chilling no. screams for her children can be heard after. all the way from the highway, giving her and the creek its very apt name. Many people have felt themselves being drawn towards the water by ghostly voices, and some have even been tugged towards the bank of the creek. Perhaps it's La Llorona looking for her next victim. I'm the screams good. heard and I'm feelings straight. of being pulled into the water have mostly been reported by younger people, making and this all the more terrifying hollering. given what La Llorona mm -hmm. did. Number six, El Paso High School. Now, when you're thinking of haunted places, a school isn't exactly the first too, place that comes to mind. Kind of old, but yeah. That's, it looks that's all old. That that motherfucker look old. That's like the Hogwarts, Hogwarts Elementary. School. Yeah, 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 yeah. Witchcraft and wizardry. Right. <laughs> that's where Damn. The elementary students come. <laughs> this one has quite a story. In 1985, the graduating class received their yearbooks, and uh -huh. when basking in the nostalgia of their group photo, yep. they noticed something odd. A woman who no one could identify was in the picture with them. Now, obviously, that would be quite concerning. I know I'd be freaked out if there was someone I'd never seen before standing next to me in a picture. The blurry apparition still has not been identified to this day, but oh, hell, some think man. it's a student who fell from a window years before who oh, never got damn. to graduate. I say give her the diploma. She's already in the yearbook. <laughs> My man is a comedian here. Right. Give it to her. Oh, man. Let her get a diploma. That's probably why she's not at peace. She needs a diploma. <laughs> Y'all didn't mention her in the graduating class. And Go ahead. Give her stop. that diploma, Please. man. So she can move on. Sticking in El Paso, in our number five spot is the Plaza Theater Performing Arts Center. Mm. As someone who loves the theater, I try to see as many shows as I can, but I think I'll skip visiting this theater, no matter how good the production is. Built in 1930 as a movie house, demolished Hello. for a parking lot in the late 80s and rebuilt as a live theater space, Damn. this building has seen Beautiful. many, many changes, but some things have stayed constant throughout its history. Many workers of the building have reported seeing a man in one of the box seats, in a tuxedo, smoking a cigarette. Uh -oh. One crew member recalls seeing him after turning on the stage lights, sitting alone in the box, as though he'd been there for hours already before mm -hmm. the lights came on. And when she saw the smoking man, he turned to her and said, we all have our time to die. And then threw himself headfirst over the balcony, vanishing before he could hit the ground. A former vice president of the theater yeah, also recalls boy. seeing a ghostly girl bouncing a ball in the aisles of the theater and always staring. He also noticed that there was a rag doll that seemed to appear and disappear on its own, moving to locations that it couldn't have without someone's help. Even locked doors didn't seem to stop it from appearing in the projection booth. Mm. Number four, Yorktown no, Memorial no, no. Hospital. No. Established in 1951, Not this hospital. abandoned hospital has been named one of the most haunted places in America. Oh, and since damn. over 2,000 patients are said to have died within its walls oh. before it shuttered its doors in 1992, I can see why. Yeah. Reports of apparitions of people in hospital gowns running through the corridors or hiding in rooms yeah. are numerous, along with moving wheelchairs, disembodied voices, and footsteps. Mm but there are some who have even more chilling stories. 
While exploring the halls and rooms that have remained largely Why? untouched Why since its closure, you? some ghost hunters have been touched, yeah, had their clothes tugged on, or even pushed to the ground while being <laughs> given a ghostly warning. Some of the spirits <laughs> are believed to be that of patients who had illegal <laughs> medical experiments performed on them and mm -hmm. lost their lives in the process, making for a very vengeful ghost. Number three, the I'm Screaming Bridge in stuff. Arlington. On the night of February 4th, 1961, six from the local high school were taking a drive taking after seeing a movie earlier in the evening. While driving down Bedford Road toward the rail crossing bridge, which had mysteriously been burned down a few years previous, only rebuilt earlier that year, they were startled by another car reversing and honking its horn wildly. This caused the driver to speed up out of fear and not realizing that the bridge was out, the car careened over the edge Thanks, and man. crashed oh. into the other side of the ravine. Unfortunately, three of them lost their lives that night, Damn. and their screams of terror can still be heard by anyone traveling the renamed Greenbelt Road. The saddest part of this story is that the car that startled them was being driven by a man who had just barely avoided going over the edge of the broken bridge himself, oh. and he was reversing and honking to warn them of the danger ahead. The entire yeah, area, now up. known as Death Crossing, is now blocked off and no traffic travels through. At Damn. number two on our list, we That's have crazy. La Carafe in Houston. Oh, this Lord, is I, was, I was just about to say, hey, we, got we that made it. Here, man. Oh, damn. damn it. I was just about to say, oh, shit. Well, you should strike We you know good, what you mean? La oh, Carafe? We at the top two. God damn it. I know where not to go then. Yeah, let us know where it's at so we yeah. cannot go there. To learn. Mm -hmm. Built originally as a bakery in 1860, Damn. has been serving patrons for decades. Mm. But many come not only for the drinks, but for a paranormal experience. Mm. Bartenders and visitors mm. alike have Wouldn't seen apparitions yeah. of a hulking man walking upstairs and hearing his giant footsteps pacing the floor. No one knows who this may be, but some say he died there from some nefarious means. The former manager of the bar can also be seen staring out of the top floor window, looking over his patrons yes, and yes. ensuring they're having a good time. Come and drink. he seems a bit more friendly. <laughs> However, <laughs> there are some that report the sounds of a body being dragged across the floor above, but when the sound is followed, nothing's there. I'm good Makes you it. wonder what happened Straight. upstairs. And since it's one of the oldest buildings in the city that's been in continuous Damn. use, it's become a tourist hotspot and a historical site. Personally, I won't be stopping in for a drink anytime soon, we no matter you. how good the cocktails I've are. I've never been. And finally, number one, the Alamo. While uh, students are taught to sense. remember the Alamo, the they Alamo. don't really teach about all of the spirits who can never forget. Hmm. In the infamous battle, thousands of soldiers lost their lives, and yep. many were dumped into mass graves, and others left to rot out in the sun. So mm -hmm. it makes sense that you'd have some pissed off ghosts wandering the ground. There have been countless reports of soldier apparitions mm -hmm. walking with weapons in hand, taking their usual patrol, and even full platoons screaming and charging into battle. Even in the afterlife, they couldn't get away from war, and so they continue to fight their invisible enemy. There are also accounts of a small blonde-haired boy hiding in multiple places where the gift shop now stands, so make sure to pick up your haunted keychains. While the buildings are beautiful to look at and the area is interesting to explore, the history can leave one with a haunting feeling. And with all those spirits around, I'd be careful touring here, especially at night. Thanks so much for watching, yeah, and I'll you see you next do that. time. I don't this know why you want to tour at night time. Hey, no, it look, was, man. Uh, all I know is, I mean, I don't think... I ain't trying to go to that place. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good, straight, man. I'm, I'm mm. okay. I go to my little usual spots. Not La hunted. Carafe. Nah, I know yeah. that. Put that on my do not ever go list. Shit, I wouldn't even know. It looked kind of small, like kind of ducked off. Yeah. So I wouldn't even know where it was. If someone said, oh, you been a da 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 da. <clears throat> like, nah, I haven't. It doesn't even have an appealing like look like come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's Dying one of here. the oldest businesses in Houston. Mm -hmm. So that's that lets you know right then and there, you know. Enough. Yeah. I'm good on it. I'm straight. good on it. <laughs> we straight. But now, nah, if y'all enjoyed the video, man, you already know what to do. You drive turkeys. Make sure you run up the like, subscribe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Put some soul in that like button, man. <laughs> have a happy Halloween, man. Enjoy. <laughs> and, you know, the time with the family and everything else. Hope everyone have a safe uh, night. But we love you guys. Continue to spread love. Be love. Keep God first. Catch y'all on the next piece. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.